Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to more Let's Play Reseteer, an item shop's tale on Nuclear Gothic. I'm so glad to be playing this after today's episode of Miserari, which scared the heck out of me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so today. Today's agenda is all about selling stuff. Um, so we got quite a few new stuff, like Nut Mix, which is worth a thousand picks. So we're going to replace the candy with that. Uh, ooh, a longbow. That'll be nice. How about a cloth row? People like those. Wooden chest piece and, uh, nope. Some sandals, actually. Hmm. How much does this sell for? 50? Alright. Sell the statue. And, uh... A thousand, a thousand. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. But before we start selling, I know it's gonna look like I'm just kind of wasting time, but I, I can't. We're gonna see her later, okay? Oh. Big sis, wait. You walk so fast. Wait up. Is that the girl? Tia? Yeah. Is something wrong? Uh, no. It is nothing. Oh, you were looking at those sisters. Hey, Tia? How do you think people see us? How do? Do you think we look like sisters? Given that I am a fairy, I rather doubt it. Oh, right. Still, if we did, I'd be kinda happy. Really? Why is that? Well, since I'm bigger, I'd be the big sister, right? Your logic, as always, is breathtakingly in its faultiness. Yeah, I guess you would be the big sister. But... That'd be really nice, too. Right, sis? Keep this nonsense up, and I will leave you behind. Hey, wait for me! That's about it. There's really nothing else to do here. There's nothing new in the Merchant's Guild. We're not adventuring today. Church is closed. Pub's closed. Market's got nothing I want. So let's go ahead and open up shop. Hi there, what can I get for you? Would you sell this to me, my girl? Of course I will. Don't remember how much this guy has on him, though, so I'll just say... Can't you sell it for just a little bit less? Even that I only need 2,000-something dollars, I'll just sell it to 1,100. Hmm... Well, it's reasonable enough. Thanks! Please come again! Oh, God, Louie. Welcome! Yo, Reset. Ring this up, please. Ah, this is gonna increase his stuff, too. Alright, Louie. How's a thousand sound? No way! I'm sticking to my guns on this. Ah, oh, Louie, you're killing me, man. You're killing me. 900. I guess that's a good price. Thanks! Please come again! Come on, we're about to level up! Hi there! What can I get you? The wife asked me to pick this up. The wife asked you to grab a longbow. There's some crazy women in this town. Is your wife the granddaughter of that old man? Uh, 18.20. Take it or leave it. Yeah, that'll do. Thanks! Please come again! Level up! Alright, we officially have enough to pay off our debt. 
Well, you seem to be more or less used to the basics of running an item shop. <laughs> you think so? There is one other matter, however. You cannot always be certain that a customer will know what they want once they come in. What do you mean? They may come in thinking, what should I make for dinner? What would be good? Uh, what would be a good weapon? And so forth. They would not be quite sure what exactly they wish to purchase once it comes to our door. In such a case, we must provide them with advice to help them decide. Whoa, wait! Uh, how could I do? Many customers will simply give up if they do not find something suitable for their needs or on our counters. Others, however, will realize that we have reserve in stock, and will inquire as to whether or not we have something to seek. That is when you may suggest an item you think they will like. In a sense, it is to the ultimate chance to show your skills as an item shopkeeper. If you know that's what someone desires, you will very likely impress them and cause them to return. Yeek! No pressure then, none at all. Well, let's just give it a little practice, shall we? Alright, this is what I was going on when it comes to advising people what they might want to buy. And uh, this is very important when it comes to customers that only have a limited amount of money on them. It's very good to keep cheap items on stock. I cannot emphasize that enough. Of course, it is good to keep very expensive items on stock for the ones that you know that have a lot of money. It is no different than a normal sale, really, beyond the fact that you must choose the items to sell yourself. Let us begin. KK! Welcome! <laughs> Oops. I would like a sword, please. So... Anything okay as long as it's a sword? Ultimately, you must pick something the person would like. By the way, if I may give you a little advice, if you sell weapons and armor to your adventure friends, they will equip that items that you sell them. Meaning, of course, that if you sell items to them, then we do not need to lend them any items at the start of a dungeon excursion, and we'll be able to bring more items for our own use. Even if an adventure must retreat while in a dungeon, the equipment is not lost since it is in your possession. So, selling better equipment to our adventure friends is a good idea, even if we must undersell to them a little. This is also true. Accessories works the same way, so think carefully about who you will sell, what to, and what the effect may have on the performance. Whoa! I hope I can keep track of all of this. If you look at the details of the item when selling to one of our adventuring friends, you can also check that the person what the person currently has. Nothing. We should continue. Affirmation! I would like a sword, please. Okay, so, uh, either of these will do. Because it's practice, we can go ahead with a steel sword. Though, it isn't always the greatest thing to go with the highest bid. Yes, excellent. Celeste is like a normal sale. Well, once again, let us put the whole thing into practice. I will ask for an item, sell me what I ask for, and you will pass. Let us begin. Hello! Welcome to Reseteer! I would like a weapon. However... Well, how about this? How about something like this? I keep... Reset, you don't have an accent. Come on. Oh, this is lovely. How much is it? Oh, for you. It's 3900 Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much! Precisely done. Once more then. I think she'll ask for the same thing, actually. Hello, welcome to Reseteer! I would like a weapon. However... Yeah, same thing. How about this little number? Oh, this is lovely. How much is it? Same lines, too. Getting that deja vu feeling. Can we oversell it? <laughs> Yeah, let's try. Hmm. Could you go a little lower, perhaps? Okay, no. 3,900. A little lower! 3,800! Yes. An excellent price! <laughs> You're killing me, Tear. Oops, I forgot to read that. <laughs> well, you're ready for everything now. 
If you ever wish to practice this again, simply ask. Alrighty then, time to put more stuff on our shelves. Even though we are running out, so. We really are running out. Okay. Bread? Chocolate? Hey there! Mr. Big Spender, I like you. Come into my shop, please. Is that really all we got? It's to the point where candy is more expensive than my last sword. But okay. Strangest shop setup ever. <laughs> Louie just sprints on in. <laughs> oh, hi! Welcome! My daughter-in-law asked me to pick this up. Okay. How about for 1300 It's really that expensive? Uh, did I say 13 I meant, uh... 16, uh, 1160 Alright, that's a good price. Thank you so much. Welcome! If you need anything, just ask. Mommy asked me to sell this? What's a good price? 1400 Heck, let's try 65 Yeah, that's great! Thank you so much! Alright, baked yam, that'll sell for quite a bit. And who doesn't like sweet potatoes? Hi there! What can I get you? <sighs> Need to help the old pension, you see? What can I get for this? Wait a second, you're selling? What should I pay? One? <laughs> 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 okay, let's try and sell it for 60. 180? Yeah, that seems about right. I actually sold that for, yeah. Yeah, 60. I was about to put the percentage out there in my head, but it was on screen. Hi there! What can I get you? I'd like a treasure. A treasure, you say? That's <laughs> all I got. How's this? How about something like this? Huh, <sighs> that's it! Alright. <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh, how's this sound? 180... 183. Could probably sell it for more. But, uh, hey. It's that expensive? You can't go a little lower? Yes, I can. 169, final offer. A good deal, little lady. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, hi, welcome. This is actually the lady that runs the merchant shop, I think. Could you be a dear and buy this from me? Really? I have so much food, ma'am. I'm turning more into a grocery store than an item shop. Okay, uh, 1610? How's that sound? Hmm. Alright, well, that seems about right. Thank you so much! A lot of business today. Holy crap. Busy day. Welcome! If you need anything, just ask! You have one of these? <laughs> it's a lucky day for us both, then. Me too, man. I love chocolate. How's, uh... That's uh, 650 sound. That's a pretty good deal, to be honest. Thanks! Please come again! How many times have you guys heard me say that? <laughs> Seriously. And this is a long, long game. You're gonna hear me say it tons of times. Hi there! What can I get you? <laughs> I'm running an errand! Well, aren't you cute? <laughs> well, ain't that cute? But it's wrong! You know what these people should be buying? My <laughs> Reset's peanut butter cups. Could I pay a little less? Oh, she's crying! Of course you can pay less! 
<laughs> okay. She broke my heart and my wallet. She's like an ex-girlfriend, except Lolly. Louie, what do you want? <laughs> Welcome! Reset! Buddy! Pal! Can you get me a weapon? Louie? No, Louie! Louie, this is exactly what you're using. This should be perfect! I think... If you recommend it, Reset, then it must be good. Well... No, but uh, it's all I got. Louie... Uh, two... Two... I feel awful. <laughs> Such a dick. I'm so sorry, Louie. Yeah, that'll be fine. I just sold him the exact same sword he's already using for over... overprice. To a broke man who eats grass because he can't afford food. Oh, uh, Louie. You are the worst <laughs> adventurer ever. Okay, beef bowl. It's what's for dinner. Yams. Is that really all we got? I guess so, cause like... Okay, yeah, just put candy there. Actually, okay. Replace that candy. No ma'am. No ma'am! That's it, that's all I got. And the rest is just, uh... Stuff. Hey, I bet someone's gonna come in for some anti-venom. I just know it. Hmm. In hindsight. Sells for quite a bit. Let's put another one up there. <clears throat> Alright, final store opening for the day. Actually, we got a lot of customers in mid-noon. Or late noon, whatever. Yeah, much fewer customers. And lag. Hi there! Hey, got a weapon? No sir, I don't. I do not. We don't have any of those. I'm sorry. I see. Well, alright. Well, they went home. We don't have any though! Welcome! Oh, I didn't know you had nice things like this. Lady, it's been in the window for, like, days. <laughs> this is the best town ever. Won't you sell it to me for just a little less? Alright, alright, alright. Uh, 28, uh, <laughs> that seems about what it's worth, yes. Thank you so much! We're about to level up again, but probably not till tomorrow. Welcome! Can I help you with anything? Again? This is something my grandfather used to love before he passed. WALNUT BREAD! <laughs> I... think it's time to move on, though. Would you take it? WALNUT BREAD! Come on, man! WALNUT BREAD! Was something your grandfather loved, and you have to sell it to move on? Can't you just eat it, lady? What? <laughs> I'll buy it for 70. This bread that your grandfather loved oh so much. That'll be fine. I'm a horrible person. Oh no, Louie. What do you want? Welcome! If you need anything, just ask! This month's a bit tight. Could you buy this? Louie, where did you get your hands on this? You eat grass! Doesn't matter though, I'm gonna rip them off anyway. 
I guess that's a good price. Thank you. Hi there, what can I get you? You have one of these? It's a lucky day for us both then. Yeah, good thing I have candy. Ah, uh, I can't ask you to low to go any lower. Right, I'll take it. Thank you so much. Hey, we might level up before the day's over. So come on, just one more, just one more good one. Yes. Oh, hi. Welcome. Hey, got the treasure? Sure do. You want this, right? Nope, that ain't it. Oh, I'm terrible at this. BAM! Exceeded expectations! Got 4,000 picks, which is what we needed to pay off our debt for this week. Alright. Uh, by the end of... Oh, heck, I thought today was Thursday. Nope, today's still Wednesday. Okay. That'll be a... Oh, yeah, we're going dungeon crawling today. Actually, we have a very important plot point to, uh, to hit for the next episode, you guys. Actually, what time is it? It's freaking late. But I don't know. Will I film another episode? I might, because I missed one. Until then, I'm going to save anyway. You know what, you guys? We're going to do one more. And it's going to be hard because Louie is under-leveled and under-equipped. But, we're going to try our best. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Let's Play Reseteer. An item shop's tale on Nuclear Gothic. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you're going to stick around for the next episode because it's coming up right after this one. Ha, <laughs> so until then, I'll see you guys in just a little while. Does with Danya. I bet you guys thought that I forgot to say Day Sudanya! Yeah, I did. Sue me.